May the grace of Lord, peace, and Holy Spirit be with us all. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this wonderful time once again that you've given us so we can worship and glorify your name, Lord. Thank you for this holy sanctuary ministry of love, this platform that you have provided through that, Father, we can all gather and worship and glorify your name, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your abundance, goodness, mercy, and thank you for the breath of life, and thank you for everything, Lord. Thank you for keeping us safe and sound and strong in this matter, in this time, Lord. And Father, come, uh, we are asking that you accept our thanksgiving, Lord, and come and take a charge and pour your spirit onto us. And let your Holy Spirit come and ascend onto us, pour onto us, Lord. So speak to us, Lord, today. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and your grace be with us all. Father, I pray for all the parties spent who have not joined us, Lord, due to the net issues, Lord, and due to this uh, the cold and uh, cough and whatever the issues are in the families, we rebuke and announce in all that in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. We're asking that your grace be will cover all of us, Lord, all the parties spent and everybody's thought, everybody who joined us time to time, Lord, we cover them all in your blood, oh Lord Jesus Christ. And we're asking, Father, give that your grace be with them, Lord. Fill them with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Have mercy upon so all of us, Lord. Let everybody be healed supernaturally, Lord. Have mercy upon so everybody's, Lord. Let the net issue be resolved and gone in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. All the honors and the praise and the glories is Lord Jesus Christ. Because there's no other God before you. There's no God like you there's none beside you there's none beside you lord you are the only one god the god of abraham and isaac and jacob and you are the god almighty who is holy and holy who is and who were to who is who were and who is to come lord we honor and glorify him lord who is and who were and who is to come. We honor and glorify your name, Lord. We praise and enter in, we praise and we give you thanks for every single thing you do into our life, Lord. You are our redeemer. You are our fortress. You are our rock. You are our stronghold. We turn to you, Father, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. We trust on you, Lord Jesus Christ, for everything, Lord. We put our faith, we have faith into you, Lord, that you are the promise keeper. You are the promise keeper lord you are so faithful to your promise thank you for our promises lord thank you father that you continue to keep us all under your father's lot continue to keep us in place be with this lot and protect us lot we need you to want intervention in regard of this uh, uh the COVID 19 is spreading upon the people we know that it's nothing we know everything is nothing in your name whatever will come will be gone will be trampled over in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ and to be trampled over and to we rebuke and we rebuke that all issues be gone in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. We're asking Father that you be present wherever we stand. Let your guardian angels go before us Lord. Release your guardian angels so they carry us on wings Lord all the time Lord. You promise that my angels will carry you on your wings Lord and they will always be with you. Thank you, Father, for those heavenly hosts with, who are with this lot, always protecting God there with this lot. Thank you for your shield. Thank you for your love and grace and mercy and abundance. And thank you for your mercy. And thank you for forgiving us all our uh, trespasses, Lord. We honor us in the glorified name, Lord, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, we will uh, sing in Urdu. <clears throat> Zubur 91, we will sing in Urdu now. Kuta de per de heta joko in Kuta de kambu de cha heta teo aram pada he. Pada meri kuta mande he. Mehe ho sab nu akhanga. Pada meri kuta mande he. Mehe ho 
सब नुआखांगा किला मेरा खुदावंद है किला मेरा खुदावंद है मैं आसरा हो तिर खांगा किला मेरा खुदावंद है मैं आसरा हो तिर खांगा शिकारी दिया तो खुदा तेनू छुड़ावेगा शिकारी दिया तो खुदा तेनू छुड़ावेगा बबा ते मरी भारी तो बबा ते मरी भारी तो तद तेनू बचावेगा बबा ते मरी भारी तो तद तेनू बचावेगा ते अपने खम देठा दुखावेगा खुदा मैनू के अपने खंब दी छाए ठा लखावेगा खुदा तेनू ते अपने पर दी छाए ठा सुधेरेगा पना तेनू ओ अपने पर दी छाए ठा सुदेवेगा पना तेनू तू अप तेरे हथियार होवन गे खुदावंद दी वफादारी तेरे हथियार होवन गे खुदावंद दी वफादारी डरावेगा न दिंदा ती डरावेगा न दिंदा ती न तेनू रिंगारी डरावेगा न दिंदा ती न तेनू रिंगारी खुदा दे पर दिशाए था जो कोई इंसान रहता है न कुछ नुकसान देवेगी हनेरे दी बबा तेनू न कुछ नुकसान देवेगी हनेरे दी बबा तेनू तो पाली जेड़ी चुट कर दी है मुल्कान दोपहरानू तो पाली जेड़ी चट कर दी है मुल्कानू दोपहरानू खुदा दे पर दी छाए ठा कोई इंसान रहता है अभी हमारे साथ मुस्कान है मैं चाहूंगी कि अगर वो खुदा उनकी प्रस्तुश में कोई गीत गा सकती हैं तो वो जरूर खुदा उनकी प्रस्तुश करें मसीह में मेरी तरफ से आप सबको सलाम और हम प्रसिश में आगे बढ़ते हुए उसके नाम को जो जला देंगे और उसके नाम की हम दो सना करेंगे मौत दिन रत्ती परवा छे ना कदी ओ दारा यहावा साडे नाल नाले यहावा साडे नाल नाले यहावा साडे नाल नाले यहावा साडे नाल नाले ए नाल नाले नाल नाले नाल नाले यीशु नाल नाले नाल नाले नाल नाले नाल नाले यीशु नाल नाले 
ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੌਤ ਦੀਆਂ ਵਾਦੀਆਂ ਚੋਂ ਨੰਗਾਂਗੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੌਤ ਦੀਆਂ ਵਾਦੀਆਂ ਚੋਂ ਨੰਗਾਂਗੇ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੁਣਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਨਾ ਸੰਗਾਂਗੇ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੁਣਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਨਾ ਸੰਗਾਂਗੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਕੀ ਲਹਾ ਯਸੂ ਸਾਡੀ ਏ ਪਨਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਕੀ ਲਹਾ ਯਸੂ ਸਾਡੀ ਏ ਪਨਾ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਸੂ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਯਿਸੂ ਤੋਂ ਜੁਦਾ ਕੌਣ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਯਿਸੂ ਤੋਂ ਜੁਦਾ ਕੌਣ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਹਰ ਦੁੱਖ ਹਰੇਗਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਹਰ ਦੁੱਖ ਹਰੇਗਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਯਿਸੂ ਉੱਤੇ ਲਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਨਿਗਾਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਯਿਸੂ ਉੱਤੇ ਲਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਨਿਗਾਹ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਿਸੂ ਮੌਤ ਦੀਆਂ ਵਾਦੀਆਂ ਚੋਂ ਕੱਢਿਆ ਯਿਸੂ ਮੌਤ ਦੀਆਂ ਵਾਦੀਆਂ ਚੋਂ ਕੱਢਿਆ ਯਿਸੂ ਮੌਤ ਵਾਲਾ ਡਾਂਗ ਤੋੜ ਛੱਡਿਆ ਯਿਸੂ ਮੌਤ ਵਾਲਾ ਡਾਂਗ ਤੋੜ ਛੱਡਿਆ ਯਿਸੂ ਮੌਤ ਕੋਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਰਹਾ ਯਿਸੂ ਮੌਤ ਕੋਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਰਹਾ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਿਸੂ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਿਸੂ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲੇ ਆਮੀਨ 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 ਬੇਸ਼ੱਕ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਸਾਥ ਰਹਤਾ ਹੈ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਸਾਥ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਦ ਹਮ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਦੀ ਤਰਫ ਆਤੇ ਹਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਸਾਥ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਾਅਦੋਂ ਕੋ ਸੱਚਾ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਸਾਥ ਰਹਤਾ ਹੈ ਹਮੇ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਵੀ ਹਮੇ ਗਿਰਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦੀ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਵਬਾ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਨਜ਼ਦੀਕ ਆਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਚਲੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜ਼ਾਹਿਰ ਹੈ ਹਮ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਪਰ ਆਤੇ ਹਾਂ ਹਮ ਤੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਬਿਮਾਰੀਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਆਨੀ ਹੀ ਆਨੀ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਉਹਨ ਸਭ ਸੇ ਹਮੇ ਬਚਾ ਕੇ ਰੱਖਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨ ਸਭ ਸੇ ਸ਼ਿਫਾ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨ ਸਭ ਸੇ ਨਿਕਾਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹੀ ਹਮੇ ਹਿੰਮਤ ਤਾਕਤ ਆਉਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਬੇਸ਼ੱਕ ਔਰ ਇਸ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਸਾਥ ਤਬ ਹੀ ਰਹਤਾ ਹੈ ਜਬ ਹਮ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਕੋ ਢੂੰਢਤੇ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਕੀ ਤਰਫ ਆਤੇ ਹੈ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਕੇ ਪਾਸ ਆਤੇ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਸਾਥ ਰਹਤਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਜਬ ਹਮਾਰਾ ਈਮਾਨ ਹੋ ਤੋ ਹਮ ਆਪਣੇ ਈਮਾਨ ਕੇ ਵਸੀਲੇ ਸੇ ਹਰ ਉਹ ਜੰਗ ਜਿੱਤੇ ਹਰ ਉਹ ਦੁੱਖ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਸੇ ਨਜਾਤ ਹਾਸਲ ਕਰਤੇ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਯਿਸੂ ਮਸੀਹ ਕੇ ਨਾਮ ਕੇ ਵਸੀਲੇ ਸੇ ਹਮ ਖੁਦਾਵੰਦ ਕੀ ਪ੍ਰਸਤਸ ਕੋ ਜਾਰੀ ਰੱਖੇਗੇ ਮੈਂ ਗੀਤ ਗਾਉਂਗੀ ਜ਼ਬੂਰ 31 ਮੇਰੀ ਆਸ ਹੈ ਤੇਰੇ ਉਤੇ ਆਏ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਪਾਕ ਖੁਦਾ ਮੇਰੀ ਆਸ ਹੈ ਤੇਰੇ ਉਤੇ ਆਏ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਪਾਕ ਖੁਦਾ ਮੇਰੀ ਆਸ ਹੈ ਤੇਰੇ ਉਤੇ ਆਏ ਯਹੋਵਾ ਪਾਕ ਖੁਦਾ ਕਦੀ ਨਾ ਹੋਵਣ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਰਮਿੰਦਾ ਕਦੀ ਨਾ ਹੋਵਣ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਰਮਿੰਦਾ 
परस चे आई नाल चुड़ा मेरी आस है तेरे उते मेरे वल तू कर कने अपना मैनु छेती दे अरमान मेरे वल तू कर कने अपना मैनु छेती दे अरमान दे पना हो कला मेरा दे पना हो कला मेरा मेरी हो मजबूत चटान मेरी आस है तेरे उते तू आप चटान है मेरी कला है तू बंदे तू है आप चटान है मेरी कला है तू बंदे अपने ना दे वास्ते मेरी अपने ना दे वास्ते मेरी कर अगवाई रा दिखला मेरी आस है तेरे उते ओ ना ने एक लुक के कीता मेरे ले चाल तैयार ओ ना ने एक लुक के कीता मेरे ले चाल तैयार कड़ी उस बेचो तू है मेरा कड़ी उस बेचो तू है मेरा पक्का सोर ते मदद गा मेरी आस है तेरे उते तू सौता है रू अपनी तेनू आई सच आई दे खुदा सौता हा रू अपनी तेनू आई सच आई दे खुदा तू है यवा जिसने तू है यवा जिसने मैनू कीता है रहा मेरी आस है तेरे उते आए हवा पाक खुदा मेरी आस है तेरे उते हल्लुया आइए हम सारे बहन भाइयों के लिए दुआ करते हैं जो इस वक्त गले खराब और खांसी हम मसलसल उनके लिए दुआ करते हैं हम कंटिन्यूसली उनके लिए दुआ करेंगे हम उनको तक के सामने रखते हैं खुदा उनके फजल के रहम और उसके फजल के तक के सामने उसके ग्रेस के तक के सामने सबको रखते हैं लाते हैं और जितने भी हमारे पार्टिसिपेंट उनके अजीज और रिश्तेदार सब भी हम खुदा उनके तक के सामने उनको लेकर आते हैं हम सबके लिए खुदा उनसे शफायत करते हैं खुदा उनसे मिन्नत करते हैं खुदा उनसे मुनजात कर मुनजात अपने मुनजात को पेश करते हैं कि खुदा उनको सुने वसीसु के नाम के वसीले से और उन सब को इनसे रहाय दे सबसे शफा दे आए खुदा खुद उस नहायत मेरे बार बाप खुदा तेरा शुक्र अदा करते हैं खुदा क्योंकि तू ही एक वाहिद खुदा है जो हम दो सताइश के लायक है तू ही एक हमारी चट्टान है हमारा मजबूत के लिए तू ही जो हमारा फजल से भरा हुआ खुदा होता है जो प्यार और मोहब्बत और रहम से भरा है जिसकी आंखों में हर वक्त हमारे लिए रहम होता है जिसकी आंखों में आए खुदा जिसकी आंखों में हर वक्त हमारे लिए प्यार है जिसके दिल जिसका दिल हमारे लिए प्यार से भरा है खुदा तेरा शुक्र बचा लाते हैं तेरी हम दो सताइश करते हुए तेरी मदद सराय करते हुए खुदा तेरी बारगाह में दाखिल हुए हैं खुदा तू हम पर रहम कर हम पर अपना फजल कराए खुदा हम सारे जितना तू आज इस मौका के लिए खास कर तेरा शुक्र अदा करते हैं तूने बख्शा के हम तेरी हजूरी में आसे तूने कहा जहां वन और एक और दो मेरे नाम से इकट्ठे होंगे मैं उनके दरमियान में मौजूद हूँ खुदा उन तरह शुक्र बचा लाते हैं तेरे पाक रू की मूरी के लिए तेरी प्रेजेंस के लिए कि जो यहाँ पे मौजूद है उसके लिए तेरा शुक्र अदा करते हैं खुदा वापस पानी तेरे तक के सामने हम उन सारे बहन भाइयों को लेकर आते हैं खुदा जो हम जिनको हम जानते हैं जितने हमारे पार्टिसिपेंट हैं आए खुदा फिर से उनको तेरे तक के सामने में लाती हूँ यस्सु के नाम के वसीले से आए खुदा मैं मिन्नत करती हूँ वापस मानी की उनके गले की खराश खांसी जुकाम थकावट बुखार यस्सु के नाम से जाता रहा है खुदा तो उनको अपने रूल को दुस्से भरते आए खुदा और अपने फजल से उनको अपने फजल से खेत रहा फजल उनके साथ रहा है मर्सी अपनी मर्सी रखा है खुदा तेरा पीस उनके साथ रहा है खुदा अपना जो तेरी शांति है जो पीस है जो शांति तुझसे आती है वो स्ट्रॉन्ग शांति आए खुदा उन सबके साथ आए खुदा हम वो सारे जितने भी आए खुदा 
साइड इफेक्ट है जो भी प्रॉब्लम है जो भी साइन एंड सिम्टम्स है कोविड के और गले खराब के खांसी के ठंड के और आए खुदा उन किसी किस्म की भी वबा प्लस लन से हम उनको यीशु के नाम से रोनते हैं यीशु के नाम से जला देते हैं और यीशु के नाम से उनको कहते हैं कि हम उनके जिस्मों को छोड़ दें और वो शफा की तरह उनको शफात जारी कराए खुदाम और उन पर रहम कर यीशु के नाम से बाप आसमानी तेरा शुक्र अदा करते हैं खुदाम बाकी जिन लोगों को हम नहीं जानते उनके लिए भी तेरा रहम तेरा फजल चाहते हैं खुदाम तो उन सबको अपनी हिफाजत में रखा खुदाम सब को अपने फजल से घेर आए खुदाउन आए खुदाउन उन लोगों के लिए भी दुआ करते जो भी तक डार्कनेस में आए खुदाउन तो उन पर रहम कर गो के आए खुदाउन मिस्टीरियसली आए खुदाउन गो के आए खुदाउन तू सब की भलाई चाहता है ये सब का भला चाहता है खुदाउन तू सब पर रहम कर सब पर अपनी शफकत से अपनी शफकत और अपनी भलाई का ताज रखा है खुदाउन फिर से दुआ करती हूँ सारे हमारे जितने पास सजरान जितने तेरे खादम आए खुदाम इस वक्त आए खुदाम तेरी खेत में काम कर रहे हैं आए खुदाम तेरी बादशाही के लिए आए खुदाम उन सब के तू साथ हो आए खुदाम और तेरा पाक रू उनके साथ रहे तेरी मदद और तेरी रहनमाय तेरी सहायता करता उनकी सहायता करता रहे खुदाम और आए खुदाम इसी तरह सबको संभाल हम शैतान के वो सारे बुरे मनसूबे जो वो हमारे खिलाफ करता है जो हमारी पुलिसिया के खिलाफ करते हैं पुलिसिया तेरे बच्चों के खिलाफ करता है खुदाम खासकर हमारे पार्टिसिपेंट के खिलाफ करता है खुदाम हम शैतान को अपने उस दुश्मन को तेरे अदालत में लेकर आते हैं खुदाम और दूसरे मसी यीशु के नाम के वसीले से कहते हैं खुदाम के तू अपनी डिवाइन फेवर जारी करा है खुदाम दुश्मन के सारे मनसूबों को यीशु के नाम से जला कर राख करते हैं खुदाम उनके सारे जादू टूने जो भी वो उस पर चौड़ फेर और हमारे खिलाफ कर रहे हैं हमारे हमारे बच्चों के और हमारे उसके खिलाफ हम और वो भी जो भी कोई वो जाल बुन रहा है खुदाम बुनते हैं खुदाम उनको यीशु के नाम से हम जला कर राख करते हैं खुदाम अपने पैरों तले रोनते मसीह के नाम से क्योंकि मसीह के नाम में है कामयाबी है शिफा है तंदुरुस्ती है हर चीज से निजात है हम अपनी निजात की चट्टान के नाम से जो मसीह यीशु हमारा निजात दिन है उसके नाम से आए बाप आसमानी उनको तुझसे कहते हैं कि तू हुक्म जारी कर उनको जला दे और राख करके और आए खुदा हमारे जितने भी लोग आए खुदा दिन के साथ हमारा इनकाउंटर होता है डेली बेस हम उसकी मुलाकात होती है हमारे जितने हमारे कोलीग है हमारे पार्टिसिपेंट हैं सारे और आए खुदा हमारे जानने वाले और जिजो रिश्तेदार जो भी दोस्त जो भी कोई भी है खुदा हमें मिलता है हमसे मुलाप करता है हमारे कामों पे हमारे स्कूलों पे हमारे कॉलेजों में और जहाँ भी है खुदा उन सब के लिए तेरा रहम तेरा फजल तेरी बरकत चाहते हैं खुदा सब के दिलों को तुम मुबारक कर ब्लेस कर मसी यीशु के नाम से हम सारी दुआएं उन्हें जाते तेरे तक के सामने रखते हैं खुदा स्पेशली हम पास्टर नदीम के लिए खुदा नदीम भाई के लिए उसकी फैमिली उसके बच्चों के लिए भी तरह रहम और फजल चलते हैं खुदा हम नाम ब नाम तो नहीं ला सकते लेकिन जो भी प्रेयर रिक्वेस्ट आए खुदा मेरे पास आई है जो प्रेयर रिक्वेस्ट हमारे साथ है हम उन सब को तेरे तक के सामने बार बार तेरे तक के सामने अपील करते हैं खुदा के तू हमारी उन दुआओं को सुन और सबको शफा जारी कर मसीह यस्सु के नाम से सबको अपने रहम से भरते रोल को दुस्से भरते तेरी रहमत और शफकत भलाई और तेरे पाक रू हमेशा हमारे साथ रहे हम सब के साथ रहे उन सब के साथ रहे मसीह यस्सु के नाम से मांग लेते हैं आमीन चाहिए अभी हमारा टॉपिक है कि हाउ हाउ यू डिफीट द डेवल आई हैव अ बाइबल वर्सेस एंड आई हैव टू स्पीक अबाउट दैट व्हाट एवर इज द होली स्पिरिट गाइड मी आई विल स्पीक अबाउट दैट हाउ वी डिफीट द डेवल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स वर्शिप द लॉर्ड फर्स्ट इन इंग्लिश एंड देन वी विल गो टुवर्ड्स द टॉपिक हाउ वी कैन डिफीट द डेवल्स um In the darkness we were waiting with our hope with our light till from heaven you came running there was mercy in your eyes fulfill the law and prophet to a virgin came a word from throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dirt praise you father praise you son praise you spirit three one god of glory majesty 
Praise be forever to my King of Kings, to reveal the kingdom coming, to reconcile the lost, to redeem the whole creation. You did not despise the cross, for even in your suffering, Jesus, you saw the other side, knowing this was our salvation, our sake, Jesus died. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, sir. Praise you, Spirit. God of glory, majesty. Praise be forever to my King of kings. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Spirit. God of glory, majesty. Praise be forever to my King of kings. Hallelujah, Father, Hallelujah, Son, Hallelujah, Spirit, Redeemer, God of glory, majesty, praise be forever to my King of kings. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are three in one. All the praise and honor, glorious Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So defeating the devil, we can see the scripture say in Ephesians 6, 11, it say, put on the whole armors of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. We all know our enemy, who is our biggest enemy is the devil is our biggest enemy. From the day one, he is after the mankind. He doesn't want the mankind to affiliate with the Father. He doesn't want the mankind to be with the fathers. He's always after us and he always wants us to be, stay away from the Father and not to come to the Father. But the devil does not know, you know, without the Father, who else we will be going? There's no other God. We have, we, we, whether we are making our own will, but we still have to go back to the Father because there's no choice for us to going back to Him. Because who gives us, a, who gives us, a, who 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 blesses us, and who gives us comfort? Who who give us a salvation from all kind of sicknesses, diseases, and the Satan is trying to do this uh, baseless or uh, tryings. He's trying his best for us to be, go with him and be his steward, be his children. But that it is not going to happen because what Satan has it, nothing. God has everything in control. Satan is under the God and he does not do anything. It is because this is the God will that he is still free because God is a righteous God. That is why he doesn't want any, uh, he doesn't want to put him, if he wanted to destroy the devil, he could have done now. But he wants us to come to him and with the, by his grace and by his power, we will defeat the devil. We can defeat the devil when we are in the uh, presence of God, when we are uh, acting like a God, when we carry all those armors like a God. So let's see what are the armor of gods today. When we see the armor of God, you know, there is the armor of God mean whatever God has the attributes, whatever God wear it, we have to wear that. What is God like? We have to be like him. That's how we can overcome the devil because the God, the God, we see, you know, how Jesus was defeating the devil when he was in the temptation. He was defeating by, with the word of God. So when we carry, when we wear that, we wear that, and then um, God, we can overcome the Satan's. Because you always have to wear the, uh, the armor of God. 
the armor of God, like I said, it is the it is the 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 God's attributes. See what how God is. He's merciful. He's truthful. He's a righteous God. He he speaks his powerful word, and with the faith, and he is the savior and the salvation. When we have these all pieces with us, we can defeat the devil. Armor of God means to belt of the truth. You know, the God is truthful. He is truth. This is the one of the armor of the God. There's so many armor of the gods. We have to think, what are the armor of God? You know, armor of God, I mean, what God carries with him. You know, how he is and how he act, how he speak. These are the armor of God, you know. So then, then we can defeat the devil. Belt of the truth means that you know that God is truthful. Jesus is say, I am the truth and the light. So when we have, when we carry the truth like Jesus carry, when we carry the truth, when we are the truthful, when we are true and the truthful, and we carry the essence of the God, which is the truth with us, then we can defeat and then there is no sin because God has no sin. Then we become holy like God. And then there is no sin within our, uh, our essence, in our spirit, our body, in our mouth. Then we can defeat the devil by carrying uh, the God's armor. One of the God armors like is the belt of the truth. We have to wear the belt of the truth because God is a truth. He has no sin. He's holy, he's righteous, he's clear. He's yes and no answer. He does not manipulate us. He goes straight forward. What is the truth and what is the right? He carries that essence. We have to carry the truth in ourselves in order to defeat the devil. And all of his words are true and alive because he does not speak anything which is not which does not give a life, which does not make a sense. He always speaks the word, which is a good for his creation, which is good for our well-being. That is why we have to carry the belt of the truth. That's the first armor of the God. The second is the breastplate of righteousness. When we are walking righteously, and not, don't have any any uh, any kind of fault into us, you know, because when we are faultless, when we are blameless, because we don't ha we have to prove ourselves blameless, so we don't have to have any guilty or any sin or any any of the sins uh, uh, attached to ourselves, or anybody can anybody can tell us, okay, well. You have this guilt into you. You are not righteous. Righteous mean like the second piece of the whole armory God, which is the righteousness, which is understandable. Looking at the God because the God character is he is righteous. That's the second armor of God. We have to carry uski ras bazi ko hamne carry karna because he is o ras bas khuda onde. We have to carry the righteousness of the God. Which is his rasta bazi skurdu me raspa si kate. Paleto ham name at the psachaiko of Nisatra Knankuke Kudaman Sacha. Dusra uska righteousness, joke wo raspazi, uski raspazi michalna, kike wo raspaze. This is a second armor because God is righteous. This is a second armor of God. He wants us to be righteous, blameless, no fault into us. No sin. Nobody can come and put a finger onto us that we are unrighteous. We are not righteous. We are guilty. Koi bhi hume aake hum pe koi bhi default, koi bhi mistakes jo hamare andar hai, usko nikal nahi sakta. Koi bhi khami hamare andar nahi honi chahiye. Jab hum chalte hain Khudaun ke saath, tabhi ja ke hum chetan ko. Because then we have to carry the armor of God. Shoe of the gospel, shoes of the gospel. The word of God, which is the gospel of peace, is 
And we have the Bible with us. We have the verses. Bibles, Khudawan ke alfaz, hamare andar rache honi chahiye. This is the armor of God, the third armor of God, the gospel of God, the shoe of the gospel. Hame khudawan ke alfaz ke juta pen ke rakhane. We have to wear the shoe of gospel. Then we can, I'm just talking about the armor of God. That's how we can defeat the devil. Shoes of armor, shoes of the gospel. Gospel mean the words of Lord's. The word of Lord's, which is the Holy Bible, which is the verses, the Khudawan ke jo wade hai. When we speak, because when we see the Jesus, how Jesus defeated, I spoke and earlier how Jesus defeated in a, in a wilderness to the Satan, because Jesus was not saying anything. He resisted the devil by speaking the word of God because he was wearing the shoes of gospel. That's how he defeated the devil there. The devil left him. As the Peter say, you know, when you submit to the Lord and you resist the devil, he will flee from you. Shaitan ko jab hamne apne piche se utarna hota hai, hum apne aap ko khudamun ko submit kar dete hai. We have to call the Father in a heaven and submit to him. Start worshipping and thanking him and asking him. And then the flea will, when, when the, he will say you're taking the name of Jesus, he will flee from you. Yesu ke naam mein power hai, uske naam se shaitan dartta hai. Jab shaitan hume temptation mein daar hota hai, hume ampehavi hota hai, hum Yesu ke naam se usko chudakte hai, aur wo hume chhoad kar chala jata hai. Jab hum apne aap ko khudawan mein magan kar lete hai, khudawan mein mast ho jate hai, to shaitan hume peechhe se chala jata hai. Shield of faith. Then you have to have a shield of faith because with the trust you cannot do anything. Iman ke bagar aap koi bhi jang nahi jeet sakte. Jab tak aapka iman khudawan pe nahi hota. You cannot defeat any of the battle into the life without the faith. You have to have a faith and you have to be strong in your faith because you have to trust onto the Lord. Trust onto the Lord and His uh, um, trust onto His promises and trust onto submit to yourself to the Lord and remember the gospel, the word of the God. Carry that, wear that shoes with you. Then you will be able to defeat the devil. Number fifth is a helmet of salvation. Our salvation is who is our salvation, our Savior. We have to turn towards our Savior, who is Lord Jesus Christ. Because this is the most protective thing in, in our life, that we have to wear the helmet of the salvation. When we have a salvation, when we are safe in the Lord Jesus Christ, then we can defeat the devil easily. We have to carry and we have to wear the helmet of the salvation. The armor of gods are like whatever God's carry is. All the essence we have to carry in ourself too, then we will be able to defeat the devil. Because God is the truthful. God is a righteous God. God is speaking a powerful word. He keeps his promises. And we, if we are, we if we have the truth in ourselves. If we are truthful, have no sin, our, uh, our body, like God is a truthful, has no sin. And if he is the truth, and if we are like, we, we carry this essence in ourselves, and we, can, we are righteous, like as God is righteous, and we can defeat the devil. And again, we have to have the shoes of the gospel. We have to have the word of the Lord with us. We cannot make any words because Satan will not leave us alone unless we speak the gospel, unless we speak to him, tell him what father wants from us because Satan is like unstoppable, unstoppable, impulsive dude. He will come. He wants to know if you know the gospel. He will attack only to that person who will not know the gospel, but he will leave that person alone who has the gospel with him. He know who knows the word of God. 
So when you know the word of God, and when you use the word of God, then he flee from you. When you take the name of Jesus, when you submit to himself, and when you have your salvation, helmet of the salvation onto you, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. When you uh, confess, acknowledge the Lord is your savior. He is son of God. He's a true God. And there, then, you know, you know, there is no other salvation other than him. There is no other savior other than him. When you have this helmet, then you will have Satan flee from you. Then he will not touch you because you are untouchable. You are unreachable. We have to be in, in that zone with the helmet of the God, with the armor of God, that we will be untouchable, unshakable shakable people we become un when we have carried this armor of the god then we become untouchable unshaken unshaken people of the children of the god where satan comes and we, hum, then we have these you know all these armor of the god into us then we are unshakable then we become a strong a wall that satan comes and try to hit it and will not be able to break it that's how you can overcome. But remember, Satan has no power. All the power is in Jesus' hands. All the powers. He is the powerful. What, what he's, he's worthless. He's restless. He's seeking attention. वो सिर्फ हमारी तवज्जो चाहता है उसके पास कुछ नहीं है वो हमें सिर्फ डराता है he cause anxiety fear and depression he tried to he tried to make us fearful वो हमें हर वक्त डराने की कोशिश में रहता है क्योंकि जब हम डर जाते हैं तो तब हम मरते हैं लेकिन हमने उसे डरना नहीं है then we will be able to go. So when we feel anxious, when we feel depressed, when we are emotionally down, Satan's job is to he always try to keep us emotionally down. He will not attack on our body first. He will attack into our brain, into our thought, into our emotions. He wants to control that because when you are damaged in, in this area, then your body is automatically damaged because your emotion is, uh, uh, you know, uh, attached with your brain is attached with your heart because heart and brain works together to keep this body strong. So first he tried to destroy our emotion. He, he will try to destroy us emotionally, psychologically. He will try to put us down psychologically. He play with our psyche. He's, he's a, he knows that, you know, he hit onto the right. He will try to get into your brain to make you feel that you are worthless. Make you feel that you are nothing. Make you feel angry. Make you feel fearful. Make you feel anxious. Make you feel restless. Because when you are, uh, when your brain is damaged, then your body automatically damaged. And he will try to attack, always try to attack. He will play with our emotion all the time. So we have to be strong and we have to don't let him. And if we feel that way, we have to submit to ourselves into the God and the presence of God. And then he, the peace comes from heaven and then we are okay and he flee from us. Submit yourself, therefore, to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I said earlier, and I've been saying that over and over, when the Satan comes and try to cause any anxiety or fear, depression into us, we all get sick. Every day I get with, sick with a sore throat, but I submit to myself to the Lord, and then next day I'm okay. Then I get strong. Yesterday I was feeling so bad. My legs are hurting. My knees were hurting. And I was feel like I'm not going to be able to walk. But I persist. I put the gospel there. And I said, We have to be like this, you know. 
when he come attack onto our body, cause a pain into our body limbs, or when he causes anxiety, give us a sore throat, give us a cough, give us these things, we have to submit to the Lord right that moment and say, no, you, you have no mark on to me because my savior, then we carry the helmet of God. We carry the, the armor of the gods. Okay, wear the armor of God. Then we can defeat him. And I've been, you know, every day, you know, I feel something different in my body. He comes and try to do, try to make me fall. No, I'm not falling down. Okay, you will not, you are not my boss. You are not boss of my body. That's how we have to think, you know, you are not the boss of my body. We have to think positive. We have to stay positive. We have to stay strong. Then we can defeat everything. Peter 1, Peter 5, 8 says, Be sober. Minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Peter says, "We should have a clear mind. We should have a strong, be sober mind. We should be watchful. We should have a strong, be sober mind. 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 ये नहीं है कि हम ने दुआ कर ली तो हम आप पे कोई आफत नहीं आएगी हम पे कोई मुसीबत नहीं बल्कि हम तो बहुत ही ज्यादा लाइन पे खड़े होते हैं हम तो उस वक्त जब खुदावन में हम आ जाते हैं मसीह से आ जाते हैं तो हम उस रास्ते पे खड़े हो जाते हैं जहां पे चेतन आता है वो हम पे पत्थर फेंकता है मारता है जो मारता है क्योंकि हम उसको कहते हैं कि आ मार अब उसने मारना ही मारना है उसने आजमाना ही आजमाना है so we have to be ready all the time that he is, we are into the battleground. Non stoppable Usne Hampe Hamla Karna hai. Usne Hame Karna. Isili he said, Be sober mind. Har work the yarho. Be sober mind mean like a clear your mind. Sober mean like a be sober, like God is sober. Hudaman sober hai. Hame view sitra sober rana. Hame har work to amid and a strong rana. Minded. Be watchful. Har work is cheese. हर वक्त दिन में ये रखना है कि ठीक है आज आज पता नहीं शैतान ने आज मैं खड़ा हूं मैदान जंग में आज शैतान ने पता नहीं कौन सा वार करना है मेरे साथ आई एम ऑन द बैटल फील्ड टुडे विद द सैटन आई डोंट नो व्हाट ही इज गोइंग टू थ्रो ऑन टू मी दैट इज व्हाट वी हैव टू बी वॉचफुल वी हैव टू बी प्रोएक्टिव हमें इससे पहले कि हमें हमारे साथ कुछ हो ना हो हमें इस चीज की थार हमारे ज़िन में रखनी चाहिए कि कुछ भी हो सकता है हमारे साथ शैतान कुछ भी कर सकता है वो मेरे बहन भाई के साथ मेरे माँबाप के साथ किसी के साथ वो कुछ भी कर सकता है इसीलिए we have to be sober mind because our adversary the devil prowls like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour I said the Satan has no power. Now he's running like a pace. He's pacing back and forth. Pacing ka matlab hota hai. Mainne pehle bhi bataya tha ki jaise aap sheer ko pinjre mein band kar do, aap bediyo ko pinjre mein band kar lo. To wo kitna restless hota hai ki wo back and forth, back and forth, restless hai. Apna matlab zain mein restless hai. Wo back and forth walk kar raha hai. He's pro, he's at our adversary. Uske kya raha hai? Wo dushman jo ke hamara devil hai, Satan hai. Pro, wo ke pacing kar raha hai back and forth. Jaisi ke wo matab restless dude hai, ke wo kab kisi ko jhappe aur kha jai. Wo is koshish mein wo pace kar raha hai. Wo har wakt itna restless hai. Kyunki uske paas restless mean ke wo matab itna bechain hai. 
शैतान हर वक्त बेचैनी में खुदावन ने उसको ऐसे डिफीट कर दिया कि वो अब इस डिफीट को खजम नहीं कर रहा तो वो बेचैन है कि मैं कब जाऊं और किसी को फाड़ खाऊं क्योंकि कुछ लोग होते हैं कि डिफीट लेकर मतलब बैठ जाते हैं कि हाँ अब मैं अब मैं कुछ नहीं कर सकता लेकिन ये जो है ना यू ये नॉन स्टॉपेबल शैतान जो है नॉन स्टॉपेबल मतलब ढूंढता बाहर ऐसे बाहर खड़ा है ढूंढने के लिए बाहर ऐसे खड़ा रहता है हर वक्त कि कब कोई बाहर निकले तो मैं इसको जप लू और उसको तबाह और बर्बाद करूं रोरिंग लाइक लाइन कि वो एक शेर की तरह धाड़ रहा है कि कब तक मैं कब तक कोई मेरे हाथ में आए कोई मेरे शिकंजे में आए तो मैं उसको पकड़ू और उसको तबाह बर्बाद करूं वो किसी एक को नहीं पकड़ता वो सब उन उन बच्चों के पास उनके पास आता है जो खुदा की तरफ जाते हैं वो कहता है कि तेरी तेरी ऐम जाओ कि तू मैनू छड़ के तू उधर तौर पर तेरी ऐसी भी तैसी तेन मैं छड़ागा नहीं वो कहता है तू ठीक है नजात तो दुआ दिखती मैं इन्हों छागा नहीं मैं इन्हों फड़ लागा मैं इतने बहर ही खिलोवगा तो जिम्मे मेरे शिकंजे च आने मैं तबाह बर्बाद किस तरह हो सकता है मेनू छड़ के कोई जावे वो हर वक्त जो नॉन स्टॉपेबल अटैम्प करता है हमसे कि वो कभी भी खत्म बाज नहीं आ सकता उसके अंदर इतनी बुरी है बता जैसे बिच्छू और कच्छे वाली कहानी है कि वो बिच्छू जो होता है वो मतलब अपनी फितरत से बाज नहीं आता तो वो डंग मार रहा है कहता है कि जब तक मैं डंग मार ना लू मुझे चैन नहीं आता शैतान भी ऐसा ही है बिच्छू है वो कि जब वो मतलब डंग मारने से बाज नहीं आता क्योंकि उसकी फितरत में डंग मारना है तो उसने डंग मारना ही मारना है तो हमें इस वक्त हर वक्त तैयार रहना चाहिए क्योंकि हम खुदावंत के साथ चलकर खुदावंत की सफाई बन के अब हम मतलब बैटल ग्राउंड में उतर आए हैं शैतान के साथ ताकि वो हम पे अटैक करे हमें मारे तो इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू स्टॉप दिस इज अ नॉन स्टॉपेबल बैटल विद सैटन ऑन टू द अर्थ विद अस विद द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ गॉड देयर इज नो एंड देयर विल बी ओनली एंड when we have the armor of god's on to us when we wear the helmet of salvation when we have the gospel with us we can defeat him and it's defeating the devil it's 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 not very hard it's very easy when we submit to the lord when we call, go back to the lord call him for help he'll come and he will let him go satan jo hai he he he's afraid of name of jesus he is afraid of name of jesus when you call on to jesus he will run away there was a one pastor he was a muslim in iranian he was uh, he was uh, he was on onto the army of the to on the you know the jihadi he was on to the army i'm giving you the testimony he was in a jihadist and his uh, family you know they'd had the bible his grandfather they read the bible but then they told him you know there's so many infidel which is they he's calling infidel jo ke wo kehta hai ki ye sare infidel ho gaye hain ye khuda unse mud gaye hain shariya se hum inko wapas wo christians ki baat kar rahe hain ki ye sare infidel hain then i have to turn them back into the islam so we are a big islam is a true religion on to the earth so he was jihadist he killed many people he was in a young age when he joined the army of the jihadist in iran and he was he was like a, he was in also pakistan karachi too he given his testimony he was he lived in a karachi with other name under the taliban so he he's uh, he saying that you know what um i'm in a you know going uh, one prison to other prison and you know that how many uh, fa- uh, you know the fake passport he has created with by the fake names to join this jihadist army many multiples and he was into that area going in a different countries to spread the jihadist or islam or something and fight and if he had to kill people he he ha- he was killing the people too but something something happened that because of that bible they read the bible his grand they read the bible too in the house too something happened through that word of the god if his family changed they all came in canada then they all turned christians they all become christians here in canada 
he was the only one who was jihadist and he was trying to bring his family back. He didn't know that they, some of the family is turned Christian. Even his grandfather who told him to go on to the, join the jihadist army, he also became a Christian because that the Bible was in their homes, those word of God, they changed their mentality and they become Christians. So when he, he was, I'm just giving you this testimony because how Satan ran away from him. That's why I said the Satan is afraid of name of Jesus. Okay, when you call on the name of Jesus, when you say the Jesus help me, he will fly from you. Satan will leave you alone and run away. Like, you know, the Jesus is going to come and, uh, you know, slam the Satan. That's how Satan is afraid of Jesus, okay? He's not strong. Many are saying that the Satan is strong. We allow the Satan to be strong in our life when we don't know the Jesus. When we know the Jesus, when we know, you know, he has no power, then he will run away from us. He will not to cause any harm to us, neither of us in our family. He will try, he will attack. For some reason, he will get success if we allow him to get success. But if we don't allow him to get success, he will not get success. So then he, the guy said, you know, he was in a prison of uh, Iran and there he was fasting for a week. And uh, he was going in a jail and telling people that, you know, you uh, uh, teaching the jihadist uh, goals and whatever was the future goals in their eyes. Like. So he, one day he said he was fasting for many and he was fasting to know the God more. And uh, knowing the God more, you always have encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. When you know, want to know the true God, want to see the true God, then you encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. This is what happened to those people who had the testimony. So he he said he was he was uh, in uh, he was fasting for many many, and they all were fasting, and he fasted, and he is in a shell of the prison, and he's sitting there. So he become uh you know uh, suddenly you know when he 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 fasted and he wanted to seek the uh, the Lord the true God he was asking to show me yourself the true God, and what happened you know he was uh, reciting some verses of the Quran or something, or maybe he was praying something. So when he was praying something, there's something happened to him some bad spirit came and over him, the Satan came and he tried to suffocate him. He pulled him up and there, he, he said he, he felt another darkness power there was there. And he put him, set him up onto by the wall and he was choking him to death. So he said he could not breathe. And suddenly he said, you know, he was uh, uh, tried to speak something. And suddenly the voice came to him Take the name of Jesus. He said he, he didn't, he doesn't want to hear the word of Jesus. He doesn't want to take the name of Jesus. He was, he hate the name of Jesus. He didn't want the people to, he said that these, uh, these Christians are infidel. They are worshiping the three God. They are blasphemers or something like that. But when he was the, the bad spirit about to kill him, Suddenly the voice came, take the name of Jesus. So he said, one time in my mind came, why I take the name of Jesus? But when he was dying, about to die, he said, Jesus. He said, Jesus, help me. He said, as moment I took the name of Jesus, that, you know, the bad spirit left me and leave me alone and I was able to breathe. Then suddenly he said, I got shocked. Why? I was reading this and I was praying this and why this bad spirit came and tried to kill me. But why I took the name of Jesus and then she left me. And I was able to breathe. He said he sat on the corner and he started confessing his sin. That Jesus, you know, all my life I hate the name of Jesus. This is the name, save me today, save my life. He sat in the corner and he said, he started crying. And he started confessing that forgive me that I hate you all my life. 
I persecuting your people, I persecuting you. And the, he was crying and crying and crying non-stoppable. And he said, you know what happened? Suddenly the room lit up. Sara Kamara Roshni se bhar gaya. Or ek kone pe maine Jesus ko dekha ke wo mere paas aake khada ho gaya. Then he put his hand onto me and he said, I've forgiven you. Then he said, you know, I could not stop myself. My brain was like, I was so excited. I fell in a power. I started running into the prison shell and starting telling other my friends, come on, I see Jesus. He said that Jesus was still standing there. And then I started running around and trying to bring more people. Come see Jesus. I see Jesus. He's here. He's the Lord, our God. He is the God himself. Then he given his witness to people. I'm trying to say, to prove that the Jesus name is so powerful when Satan is trying to come and try to kill us with the, the sickness and the diseases. Let's take the name of Jesus. Let's uh, uh, focus our eyes onto Jesus, call unto him, and then Satan will flee from you. The, our, our salvation will come from all those problems when we take the name of Jesus, because Jesus is the Savior. He is the God. He's the God Almighty himself. He's the God himself. He's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He is the Savior. He's our stronghold. He's our helmet of salvation. He is who said, I am, that I am. He is, I am. He's the God that said to Moses, I am that who I am. He is the I am. When Jesus was onto the earth, he was speaking these phrases that I am. But you know what? Those people was blinded by the spirit. They did not recognize him. And today, if Jesus come to us and said, I am who I am, then we should know that is him, that is a God, that is Jesus, that is our Father. <clears throat> so we continue uh, to, uh, the scriptures say, um, Revelation 10, uh, 20, 10 say, and the devil who had the deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire. We can throw him into the lake of fire when we take the name of Jesus. He leave us alone. We can throw him every time. When he uh, stone us, when he uh, uh, try to push us, we can push him back by the name of Jesus. And then he will go back in the fire, lake of fire, where he burns all day and all night. We can put him. We have given him power, but we're not strong yet. We have to be strong, my brothers and sisters, to put him to the lake of fire. God will do that. But he wants to see how much we are strong. He wants to see whether we are wearing the helmet of the our, uh, armor of the God or the helmet of the salvation. He wants us to all. Uh, we he wants all of us to wear the armor of the God. He wants all to wear of the helmet of the salvation. When we have that, we will be able to defeat the devil. Then there, he will be useless. He will have no power, no ink. No strength to destroy us because we have all that we need to defeat him. Where the beast and the fowl's prophets were, he will be going back into the same lake of fire where that beast and the fowl's prophets are. There will be tournament day and night forever and ever. You know how we tournament, how we torture the devil? by walking with the Jesus, by wearing the helmet of salvation, by wearing the armor of God. We torture devil day and night. We defeat him. Obviously, many, many times I said, obviously onto the earth, we have to fall. We have to get sick. We have to have problems. Those problems we can defeat one by one. We have to play a chess game with Satan to defeat him. So our chess game is like when we have the armor of, uh, you know, that that's the armor of God and the helmet of salvation, we are able to defeat the devil. We see in other scripture, John 1, say, 1 John 1, 9 say, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 
We all are born with the unright. We all born unrighteously. It's in our DNA, and God knows that. He knows we born in a sin. He knows we we have essence to fall unrighteous. We become unrighteous. But the good thing is that he has the redemption there forever for us that we come clean every time when we come before him. We confess our mistake. Usne hamari nijad ka hamari gnohon ki kafare ka adara ata jo kar di hai uske baad usne heaven mein Yesu Masih ke wasila se us forgiveness ko aur hamari har galti se forgiveness ko forgive karne ke liye wo hamesha ke liye apne daaye haath pe rakha hua hai. रख दिया क्योंकि वो जानता है कि हम गुनाह की हालत में पैदा हुए जानता है कि हम गुनाहगार हैं लेकिन he has the plan of the forgiveness there in the righteous hand for forever for us in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ that's not you know is then you know if he doesn't have it then he should be not called God he should not be called righteous and justice and uh, truthful father because he knows that we're gonna fall he knows that we're gonna commit a sin he knows that he knows that uh, you know we have carry the dna for uh, turning away from father he knows these things he knows we are uh, we turn away we can turn away from father he knows us because he made us he created us he knows what we carries in us he knows our emotion he knows everything that's why he has said okay koi gal nahi khare ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਜਿਸਮ ਚ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਟੂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਜਾਨ ਚ ਇਹ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਣਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਖੈਰ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਮਨਸੂਬਾ ਤਿਆਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਹੀ ਰੱਖ ਛੜਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਗਲਤੀ ਕਰੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਓ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਪੂਰੇ ਦਿਲੋਂ ਦਿਲੋਂ ਜਾਨ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਇਸ ਸੁਮਸੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਮ ਚ ਮਾਫੀ ਮੰਗੋਗੇ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਫੇਥਫੁਲ ਫਾਦਰ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਮਾਫ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਉਹਦੀ ਸੂਰਤ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਦਿਨ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੂਰੇ ਦਿਲ ਉਹ ਜਾਣਨਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਗੁਨਾਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਫਾਰਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਇਹਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਫਿਰ ਜਾਣਨੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਖੁਦਾ ਚਲੋ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੁਨਾਹ ਕਰ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਆ ਖੁਦਾ ਵੰਨੇ ਮਾਫ ਤੇ ਕਰ ਹੀ ਦੇਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਵੀ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਕਮਿਟ ਅ ਸਿਨ ਵੀ ਫੀਲ ਸ਼ੇਮਸ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਗੋਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਮਾ ਮਦਰ ਆਦਮ ਐਂਡ ਈਵ ਦੇ ਕਮਿਟਡ ਦੇ ਰਿਬੈਲ ਦ ਫਾਦਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਅਵਰ ਸ਼ੇਮ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਸ਼ੇਮਫੁਲ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਹਿਡਨ ਫਰਮ ਫਾਦਰ we are the same way because we are the children of adam and eve those adam and eve who whose father is god god almighty who is the creator our creator because adam father is the god our heavenly father and mothers okay so we are the children of god because we came out of our father but we want to be children of father when we walk with him when we listen to him when we obey him when we like him like he is when we carry all those essence but god has it then we become his children then we become righteous then we become uh, heavenly so uh, there are so many phrases i repeat over and over and i ask for forgiveness because i want to go back and back to remind you refresh your memory to repeat those phrases again and again so this is what it is because defeating a devil it is not hard my brothers and sister it's very easy it's just the taking the name of jesus and when we take the name of jesus then we become fall in a so much good deep peace hame wo shanti mil jati hai hamare jism bhi taqat se bhar jata hai kyunki khudaund ka ruh hamare sath ho jata hai jab khudaund ko hum pukarte hain to khudaund aa jata hai to wo khudaund phir jab aa jata hai aur wo phir hame utha leta hai aur hame kuch nahi hone deta so this is how defeating the devil the devil is uh, devil is useless wo khali khali bartan hai jin janata pital khali bartan hai uske paas kuch nahi hai lekin hum usko allow karte hain we allow him to kill us but when we don't allow him because who is the boss of your body not the satan who is the boss of our body not the satan we are the boss of our body we have the identity in the father why we let him rule rule our body why we let him rule our uh, the uh, the emotions and the things no can then uh, you are not the boss of my body tu mere jism da master nahi hai main apne jism da aap hi master hai kyunki khuda ne mainu paida kita main khuda hun da bachcha wa 
ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਜਿਸਮ ਦਾ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾ ਖੁਦਾ ਵੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਤੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਜਿਸਮ ਦਾ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਹਾਊ ਸੇ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਹਾਊ ਦਾ ਬੈਟਲ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਸੈਟਨ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਥਿਸ ਕਾਂਸਟੈਂਟ ਬੈਟਲ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਬੈਟਲ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਸੈਡ when we taking when we walk with the when we uh, walk with the uh, uh, path on the righteousness and follow the truth which is the god chose is christ we are in a battleground with the satan constant battleground with the satan so he will always try to come after us and try to destroy us aur pehle maine sabse kaha ke wo sabse pehle hame destroy karta hai hamare zehn ko hamare socho ko hamare khayalon ko isse wo shuru karta hai fir aista aista wo jis samay aa jata hai तो जैसे ही वो ऊपर हमारे ब्रेन से शुरू करता है फिर हमारी बॉडी हमारे दिल हमारे पूरे जिस्म पे वो हावी हो जाता है फिर हम हमारी फिजिकली और स्पिरिचुअल पहले वो हमारी स्पिरिचुअल माउथ करता है हमारी स्पिरिचुअल माउथ नहीं होनी चाहिए वो हमें स्पिरिचुअली डेड करना चाहता है डैमेज करना चाहता है डिसेबल करना चाहता है दिस इज अ गुड वर्ड ही ट्राई टू डिसेबल अस इन द स्पिरिट ही ट्राई टू डिस्ट्रॉय आवर स्पिरिट first he try to destroy in our brain to get into our spirit into our thoughts into our minds into our brains causes fear anxiety depression oppressions make us feel like a negative all the time and hopeless feel sad crying tears depressed that's what he start here first my brothers and sister then he get into our whole body so his job is to destroy our disable our brain first our emotions then he will disable us physically too so let's pray about it <clears throat> thank you heavenly father for this wonderful time wonderful scripture that you have shown us on the spirit that satan has no power and you have shown the satan wants to come and try to destroy emotionally our brain first before he kill us all he tried to uh, uh try to disable our brains by causing fear anxiety depression paranoia irritability restlessness anxiousness he tried to cause these things to us but yet father your peace is so deep uh, nobody give us only you give us a peace Oh, father we know that thank you for revealing unto us through the holy spirit the holy spirit thank you for helping us revealing us the truth that what satan does to us and yet you have shown us he has no power did you have shown us that you have the power did you have shown us father that i am there with you i'm carrying you on to my uh, with my uh, i'm carrying i'm holding you i'm not leaving you i'm not forsaking you i am there because it shows your love lord we show that you are the faithful father father thank you continue to reveal unto us continue to make a strong love and continue to speak to us lord through holy spirit so we'll be able to uh, tournament the satans as you have planned you have planned to, to the satan you have planned for him to tournament in the lake of fire day and night so father that you give us the courage and give us the stamina all the peoples here your people your believer your children your followers lord that you be with them lord and continue to carry us in your wings lord be with us lord and give us the stamina strength and be kept us in your presence so we we'll be able to defeat him every day and night and if he comes to us and try to uh, push us down that father we know that you are there to carry us you keep us strong on your on our feet lord we thank you for it lord thank you father for all the people who have listened to me and will be listening to sermons lord we're asking father that you hear all our prayers petition and let this uh, teachings you have given in to me today through the holy scriptures let be blessing for many lord and so we all can come out from this dilemma that you know this the we can come out from this dilemma and we can come out and we live lighten and lighten our spirit lord so we can see the light we can see devil going bye bye in, in your powerful name of lord jesus christ amen